The Ukrainians have been looking for all sorts of ways and all sorts of occasions to keep renewing their request to NATO for top-line fighter aircraft. And in the latest, Ukrainian Defense Minister Reznikov raised a handkerchief with the picture of a fighter jet on it at a meeting held in Brussels this week of the contact group of companies that supports Ukraine's war effort. So far, Ukrainian efforts have led to very little. The Swedes say now they will consider the Ukrainian request for Gripen aircraft, but they added that they need these aircraft for themselves. Britain has said it is not feasible to send fighter aircraft to Ukraine, and certainly not this year. Pilot training, they say, takes time three years, and the British have said it's like moving from driving an ordinary car to driving a Formula One car, not the same thing at all. Britain says Ukraine could be looking at such aircraft post-conflict, and Ukraine is, of course, not the only one asking what would be the good of that. The US earlier ruled out fighters, so did Germany, the French were ambivalent. Now this again is a bid that the Ukrainians made in Brussels at the contact group, but again with the same result, no result.